Well, the first ever Runway of Hope hosted by Pink Warrior Angels of Texas is set to kick off on Friday. In preparation for the main event this evening, the nonprofit is hosting a strut talk where the models will work with a professional model, trainer and coach. As our Olivia Levada reports, tonight's session was all about building confidence and empowering the cancer survivors. Almost nine years ago, Caitlin Yanez was diagnosed with terminal cancer. My battle with cancer was kind of challenging, it had its ups and downs. Just moved to El Paso and um, her father had deployed to Afghanistan and she just started um, not eating or not sleeping. After a long journey through chemo, 10 surgeries, and the removal of several organs, today she feels much better. And she did 48 weeks of, of chemotherapy and I believe eight weeks of radiation. And um, so we practically lived in the hospital for an entire year almost. And, um, and once she's in remission, it takes five, the, the doctor said it takes five years to be cancer free. So she's been cancer free for two years. And the 14 year old will be celebrating this victory during the Pink Warrior Angels of Texas Runway of Hope, a day of pampering and a fashion show dedicated to cancer survivors. They know what it's like. And I think that that gives her some, and to see everybody's progression and everybody's attitude um, gives her hope. Now, before Caitlin hits the runway and struts her stuff, she is participating in a very special strut talk. It's a runway therapy session. So strut talk is the conversation with no words. Um, it's where I use runway as a form of therapy to help people strut through the things that they're going through. And Caitlin can't wait to take the stage with her fellow cancer survivors. They're very strong people, like mentally and physically. I'm excited to participate in it. In Copper's Cove, Olivia Laveda, 25 News. A runway of hope will take place Friday at 6.30 p.m. at the Colleen Civic and Conference Center. Funds raised from the event will go toward direct support for cancer survivors. For more information, you'll find this story at kxxd.com.